Hey guys, welcome to Defense and External Affairs. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about a very important topic. Does India need a nuclear strategic bomber? This is a very important question because if we talk about a military aviation, then there you will find various types of aircraft. One of it is fighter aircraft and it has many classes like large aircraft, light combat aircraft, for example, Tejas is a light combat aircraft and then multi-role aircraft, for example, Rafale and then transport aircraft and then the strategic bomber. This fighter aircraft don't attack any other aircraft. It specifically target on ground bombing and it has a heavy carrying capacity. If you look all around the world, only three countries have these types of bomber, which are US, Russia and China. And do Indian Air Force is the world's fourth largest air force yet India does not have a strategic bomber. Will India be the fourth country in the world to have a strategic bomber? Then let's discuss this topic. Here are the active strategic bomber in the world. As of now, China has only one strategic bomber and which is very outdated of about 1960s era, whose name is A6. On the other hand, US has a very advanced strategic bomber. Russia also has a good strategic bomber and here is the US famous B-1 Lancer. This was also showcased in India during the Aero India 2021. This is the cutout of economic times that US flies B-1 B heavy bomber at Aero India 2021. It was almost an offer to India from US that if India is interested in it then India can purchase this strategic bomber from USA. Now you have a question that what is the importance to buy this strategic bomber for India? If you see the list that China has a very outdated strategic bomber and as of now India does not have any direct threats from US and Russia. See, the problem is China is working on a strategic bomber and its name is H-20. And if you interested in military aviation then you may have seen about this aircraft in many times. And you may have read many articles about it. There is a very excitement that how the new strategic bomber of China will look like. China also claimed that it will have steel phasers, it will not get detected in radar easily. And once it takes off from China, then it will be very difficult to locate this bomber. And it will can carry nuclear bomb even conventional and non-conventional nuclear bomb in big capacity. And it will be the first dedicated strategic bomber fully developed by China. Here USA also says that if China get this strategic bomber, then China will have a truly intercontinental strike capacity. Now you have a question that already world has missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles which have a range about 5000, 6000, even 8000 kilometers. Then what is the need of this bomber? A intercontinental ballistic missile is very fast and it is easy to use, but a bomber has importance in its own position. Let us assume that if you don't have the need to strike a country by a nuclear missile and you have to do conventional bombing but in very big scale and you want that the land have to be completely flatted, then you can use a bomber. And another thing is intercontinental ballistic missiles sometimes can miss their target but a bomber will not miss it. It can drop bomb in 100% accuracy. And there is also an another aspect that after the launch of a ballistic missile, you will no longer have the control over it. It will surely hit the target if it is does not have self-destruction feature. But you will have the control over a strategic bomber the last moment of any operation. Now, China here says that their strategic bomber will easily can cover a distance of 12,000 km in its one flight and it will can easily target the whole US and Europe. If we talk about India and if India has to bomb in China heavily or if India has to use a nuclear missile then India will need huge number of intercontinental ballistic missile and India has to ensure that all the missiles must hit the target. Surely India has this opportunity because India has Agni 2 and Agni 5 is also ready to use and if you see the range of Agni, then it can cover the whole China. But the fleet of a strategic bomber to Indian Air Force, India have a good strategic depth. If 
If India want to bomb specifically a military base near Tibet, then India will can do this by a strategic bomber. And even if a strategic bomber have steel fissures, then it will be very difficult to locate it. But in case of a missile, it can be anticipated very earlier stage that from where a missile can be launched. And Chinese missile defense system can also destroy it. Now you have a question that can India make strategic bomber in its own? The answer is it is very costly to make a strategic bomber. The strategic bomber that US has made recently is estimated to be around 100 billion dollar which is a very big amount and if you talk about China then they has not revealed their cost. They has made China has made their strategic bomber from 1980s but India has not made only a aircraft fully indigenously so it will be very difficult for India to make a strategic bomber indigenously. We know that Tejas is made in India but its engine is made in USA. In, si in simple language we can say that absolutely India need a strategic bomber. Bomber is very important at also present time. Even though Sukhoi 30 Rafale can carry nuclear bomb but its load carrying capacity cannot be matched with a strategic bomber. And also we cannot add strail phaser which can be added in a strategic bomber. And in common sense if a multi-role aircraft can carry out bombing and there is no need of a strategic bomber then why China has developed their own from 1980s obviously strategic bomber is very important also at this time and if you see in the long run if you always have to active your intercontinental ballistic missile then it will do a huge cost so in the future obviously there is a possibility to purchase a strategic bomber by India primarily from USA and by this move India also can increase its power in South Asia because Pakistan also does not have any strategic bomber at present. And this is all about that I want to share with you. If you like this video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe.